and ask yourself why what is it about me that does not allow this person to exist in who they are that is the question that's the real tea why can't you let someone be who they are that's the motherfucking distraction is that mentality that makes you feel like you have to control who someone is for you to feel comfortable in yourself sometimes it don't make no sense does it really hi welcome to my always world okay so first I realize that when I do these YouTube videos, I get dressed up, but like you can't see it. And I want y'all to see all this drip on this dress I have right now because this is looking mad cute and like, you know what I'm saying? I wish you could. Oh, I'm on my bed. Yes. She's giving you. Yes. From the back. Ooh. 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 I wish you could see. Damn. Okay. Now that's over with. And also, I just look at the details of the makeup, you know what I'm saying? She is really proud of the colors. I was really inspired by like, you know, the fishes with all the um, colors on it. It has like the blues and the purples and stuff and it like shimmers. So she was feeling real fishy today, you know what I'm saying? Very aquatic. Um, so what's been new with me? I've been staying inside a lot, like a lot, like I have been at home, I have been feeling very like, like wanting to retreat, I've been journaling a lot more, I'm trying to like, take things slow, there's a lot of things I want to do, but I'm trying to make sure my mental state can, can take it on, that makes sense, because I think I can get into a system where I'm like, work, 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 and sometimes work prevents me from doing a lot of internal work, and right now I'm doing a lot of internal work to make sure I'm mentally and, and physically good, so i am just been going slow. The only thing that I've been really doing is just making YouTube videos and trying to engage more with um, y'all and my channel and just like reading things on my phone. I'm on Instagram a lot, so if I'm kind of quiet on here, you can like find me on my Instagram, which I'll put now. If you're new to my channel, um, I'm posting twice a week. I talk about freeform lock, social issues, consent. Feminist, feminism, body issues, you know what I'm saying? I try to like wrap up stuff. I'm very explorative. I might add in some other stuff here and there, but that's pretty much what you're gonna get from my channel. You're gonna be getting a lot of looks, honey, a lot of sass, a lot of ass, a lot of, you know, um, yeah, just like, just my opinions on things. I'm trying to get more vocal about standing up for things that I think are wrong which brings me into introducing this case that i saw recently that is just a mess but it's not the first time something like this has happened so in texas at let me say let me get my facts straight so let me tell you what the exact high school is there's a place called barbers hill high school which is in texas and long story short there's this beautiful young 16 year old black boy called called DeAndre Arnold, who has these gorgeous locks, like very thick hair, very beautiful, maybe about this long. And um, yeah, he has these gorgeous locks. And long story short, his school is saying that he can't walk to graduate. He can't graduate until he cuts his locks. And I find, you know what I'm saying? If you do research on this, you'll see that this happens all the time. And this is just people who go to the media outlet about it. Like a lot of people have to cut their hair for jobs. A lot of people have to cut their hair for school. It gets really sad when it's these young kids because you, you just, you don't like, when I read about this case, the thing that just hurt me the most is the fact that he has to speak about it. You know what I mean? Like he's 16 years old, like he's a fucking kid, like, he should be doing kid stuff. He shouldn't be having to be on uh, CNN talking about how his school won't let him graduate. And I just can't imagine how awkward it must be to then go to that school and see those teachers and those teachers are watching you on the news and just kind of like, you know what I mean? Like I can't help but think about that tension between even you and other students who may feel like they don't agree with your decisions or agree with you speaking out. It's just like, that's like really sad to me. So because his locks are here, and he's been trying to put them up in this gorgeous little bun that he has, and mind you, his locks are so neat. Like, I was looking at his hair, and I'm just like, this boy's hair is so beautiful and so neat. I cannot believe anyone could look at this and say that his hair is wrong. Like, I'm just like, what? 
And I, I so badly want to see what the people who told him know. I want to see what their hair looks like. Like I just, I'm just so curious as to what the board meeting looks like. Trying to tell this beautiful 16 year old black boy that his hair is wrong. Like, but it's interesting because one of the things that was mentioned was that like this hairstyle is um, distracting. Like it distracts. They don't want it to distract students. So much of validating, like abusing people comes from like the concept of what's considered distracting like for example um with me growing up and going to uh, like a public school system i was told so much that the things i was i couldn't wear certain things like i was told that if my skirt was too short like it's against school policies if my top is too low it's against school policies like you're so aware of how your body comes off and let's be real like certain people get it worse than others i think curvier girls get reprimanded on um school clothings worse than like thinner girls like i noticed that like there's certain things i can pull off or not even pull off but like get by in a in a school system because you're not it's not considered as sexual that's not true but just how society perceives body types and also too like black girls and like women of color get get reprimanded on like how we dress way 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 more than like other races because somehow people are perceiving us as being more sexual in general and i think it's interesting with him because like his locks are considered to be distracting and people are saying like locks are distracting braids are distracting natural hair is distracting your afro is too big it's distracting your your you know what i mean your braids are too distracting it's like but who is it distracting that's the question that I think is really fascinating when we say these things of like it's too short because because you don't care about it about that child being distracted by you forcing them to leave right like when that kid isn't allowed education like isn't that child literally distracted like you're putting him you are suspending him because his hair grows like that which is mad distracting I'm telling you not being in class when you have homework is mad distracting but, and you're worried about a student who I guess is looking at my hair or looking at his hair and can't pay attention. Mind you, we have a phone right here where I can see way more distracting things on a regular. But his hair, for some reason, is now the thing that prevents me from learning. And it's also just interesting because it makes you wonder, like, like, is a white girl who has long hair, like, is that distracting? Like, when she takes her long hair and then she whips it and then it gets, like, on my lips because I have lip gloss on, you know what I'm saying? Is that distracting? Is someone's beauty distracting? Can someone, can I be in a class and I'm trying to learn, I look over and I see this fine-ass person and I'm just staring real hard and can I justify not doing well in school because there's a fine person in my class? Like, can I get a, can I be at work? And I get my report back and I didn't do well. And I said, well, listen, there's this fine ass person in the class and they got these gorgeous ass, like, you know what I mean? Like, can I say that? And like, that is valid as to why I can't focus. I just think it's really interesting what we think is preventing people from, from doing well. Because when I look back at my own self at 16, um, the things that distracted me the most at 16 uh, was not the person who has on a short skirt or the boy who has dreadlocks, I was very much so distracted by uh, sexism. I was distracted by being told that what I have on is bad. I was, I was distracted by society telling me to like hate myself. I was distracted by like feeling like I had to buy products to be beautiful. I was distracted by like, I don't know, violence in my community. I was distracted by like, you know what I mean? Like there's like a like social media, uh, cyberbullying, like those were distractions. I don't look back and be like, damn, Lakeith in my fifth grade class, his hair was so beautiful that it prevented me from studying math. Like I don't do that. So I think it's just really weird what we think prevents people from learning because it's, it's mad racist. Like just gonna call it what it is. You telling this young boy that his hair, cause it grows like that is distracting is mad problematic and then they justified it the school released a statement they had the audacity to even because listen if y'all get into some trouble like this y'all need to go ahead and get your pr person to come through and just you know what i'm saying finesse it but these motherfuckers they don't even have a good pr person because the pr person said well these rules can be racist because it's been in place for over 30 years 
bro. Rodney King was 30 years ago. You know what I mean? Like what? That isn't like it's that's not. It's wild. Like, it's wild. It's this is it's wild. Like, nah, bro. It's not okay. Like, it's not alright. It's not good. It's it's y'all need new. Y'all need new. Hold on. Let me pull my blind blinds up. Y'all need new laws. Just because something's been here for 30 years does not justify that it's good. A lot of things that existed 30 years ago don't exist now, and that's good. Just like um, spray cheese. We used to love that in the 90s. We ain't eating spray cheese now. We've upgraded to real cheese. So do better, schools. Like, do better. And for that young boy, I feel sad because forever in his life, he will remember that he was on TV because his hair in which it grows in its natural st state was considered bad enough to be suspended bad enough to not graduate and no kid should ever should ever feel that pressure so deandre if you're listening to my youtube channel we support you we love you your hair is gorgeous i hope you don't change who you are and i'm so proud that his mother like i was really proud of his mother because a lot of moms will tell you to like no Tino shade to my own mom, but I feel like if I was in school and they were like, your daughter's hair is like mad distracting and like, uh, we can't, it's not, I, I, I have a feeling that she would feel this pressure for me to like, tell me to cut it because she just like, it's, it's going to create too much of a chaos. Like a lot of times people don't, a lot of times people don't even have the energy to devote to going into schools and arguing with teachers. Also two cultural differences. My mom's Nigerian. She may not feel confident enough to argue in an American school system. So many people don't have the time, the resources, the knowledge to know when they are right to keep pursuing something and when they need to stop. So it's good that his mom really sees his hair as beautiful because I read so many of y'all's comments and stuff that write me and y'all deal with the fact that like your parents don't agree with your hair, they don't agree with what you're doing. So I'm really a commend his mom for like supporting him and standing by him and hopefully affirming him every day that his hair is beautiful because he's so cute. He's a little cute boy. I'm just like, oh, it's that school is just trash. And mind you, I've did some more research about this Crown Act that's trying to get passed all over the US, but only two states in the whole of America have passed this act that says you cannot discriminate against someone because of their hair like it's an act for black hair and that's only two states only california and new york and and that and these things allow a 16 year old boy to feel like his hair because his hair grows like that he should not be allowed to graduate and we'd be like that's crazy this as well but this is happening so much it's happening so much in so many different states at so many different times if you do research on it it's like you know you guys saw that wrestler who had who couldn't compete until he cut his hair all that stuff all that stuff is bad because what it tells me is that what you're saying is black hair is distracting and white hair isn't because I've never heard any law that commend that uh, banned any white hairstyle. Like I've never heard anyone be like, remember when girls back in the 2000s used to do that, <laughs> that blonde here and that black dark here? How come that wasn't distracting? Or you know the moms that be doing them haircuts? It's kind of like a, it was very like this short bobby look and then they would have this like, this really like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a lot of moms that maybe complain uh, to customer service. How come that, how come that's not distracting? I've never heard any kind of like, you know what I mean? Pushback on those hairstyles that, that, that it could actually be something that could be legally, like I could legally discriminate for. So none of us are fooled. Like it's clearly really racist. And the truth is that these people who are making these laws, people who are making these decisions, who wrote that rule 30 years ago that they felt valid enough to justify that as to why they weren't racist, nobody black was on your team writing those books for you, sis. Like, nobody black was there. Like, nobody even of color was there writing that. So it's a mixture of, like, you're making rules for everyone with only people who look like you, which is just always going to be not right. It's only, you're going to, you're going to keep only feeding people who look like you. And also, it's just like a lack of understanding of black hair. And that's why, like I said, I'm very big into always letting people know that my hair naturally does this. I just literally have my hair as a... I, I just decided to stop b breaking combs. Because when I would try and do my hair, I would break hella combs. So I was like, I don't like... This hurts me. This hurts my head. I don't like buying new combs all the time. This is really like not healthy for me so i'ma just 
do what my hair does. Like, I'm going to just chill. And then my hair did this. So none of this was, like, planned. And when you see how natural that is, and you see, like... And I think even before I had dreadlocks, like, I didn't know how people who had dreadlocks had their hair. I didn't know that they just either have twists and just let it rock. You know what I mean? Because you just don't have that much information. And we should. We should. This should be as normal. Like, this should be... This is normal. This hair is normal. This hair is is not crazy it's not cool it's not weird it's literally normal it's literally just black you know what i mean like and people should be able to understand that and so i'm sorry to anyone who faces discrimination for these things your hair is not a distraction nothing on your body is a distraction if you got if you're wearing a short skirt it's not a distraction people need to learn how to be okay with the fact that different people exist differently than you like that's why even too it's a similar thing with like ooh. Sorry, the cops just rolled up in my neighborhood. <laughs> um, it's the same thing with people who wear like burqas or people who wear hijabs. Like that's not distracting for you, babe, bro. Like it's not like you'll be straight. Like it's not distracting for you. It's it's them being them. It has nothing to do with you. It has literally nothing to do with you. Like focus on what you're doing and ask yourself why. What is it about me that does not allow this person to exist in who they are? That is the question. That's the real tea. Why can't you let someone be who they are? That's the motherfucking distraction. Is that mentality that makes you feel like you have to control who someone is for you to feel comfortable in yourself. So, thank you guys. Ooh, this cop is scaring the hell out of me. This police officer. Oof. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> thank you for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.